Larry T. That's a Sharon Needle. <laughs> for a really special party with Shauna XO Wild, where you're performing tonight, is that right? Yes, yes, something like that. We'll call and, it performing. And it's your first time in London. It's my first time performing in London. I've been here before. Okay, okay. And what do you think of Europe? I, I, oh, I love Europe. The boys are so cute. It, the weather is, uh, is really cold, it's really gloomy, it's really cloudy, which is perfect for a pale girl like me. I want to get in on that. Uh, uh, you want to eat my lap. Okay, now for, for RuPaul Drag Race fans, you were the winner of what season? Was it three? Of the four. Season the good four. one. Okay, now was that the season where Willem got kicked off? It was the season where uh, my good friend Willem Belli was uh, was asked to leave the competition. Well, that's like a first, right? What, what happened? I have an inside dish. Uh, well, due to the fact that I am currently um, uh, have a signed contract with World of Wonder, I say I already told you the other day when I, I was drunk at your house. Like TV show. Well, no. See, the great thing about being a star and you, me being a star, and you being a star, is we get to share these little secrets. What all those simpletons out there watching this don't get to know. Why can't you be a good girl? Why can't I be a good girl? Um, I'm, 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 I was born so bad that I can't even feel bad about it, you know? I'm, I've always been attracted to bad things and bad people, and um, all my idols are... are, are Who are your idols? Uh, well, you know, the Divine, and, and Gigi Allen, and, and, and Peggy Bundy, and Elvira, and, and um, you know, just, just people that uh, made um, bad fun again. And, and I think we need that right now. Everything's so anti-bullying, and everyone trying to be so politically correct and the PC police are everywhere and you know you do you have a way of getting in trouble girl I know I know yeah I just got kicked out of Austria yeah what was that about uh, I said Hitler Hitler gets you kicked out of Austria yes yes you know in America we have the n-word and in, in Austria they have the h-word yeah actually you can't say that in Austria no you can't you, you can't not out the hard way right right right, right. but that's fine I mean it's no, a wait, 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 wait. no 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 I, I want to know no so they you say the h-word and then they, what, did they just march you out right then and there? Well, the press said that they sent me on the first returning um, uh, 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 plane home. But that's not true. They actually paid for three gorgeous days in a suite in Austria. But you know what? I love the story of me being sent right back home better that I took. Because we all know the press isn't fucking real. And the yeah. press is just adult entertainment. Area, what's that area between the ball and the anus? Um, usually where you'll find me on a Friday or Saturday night. <laughs> What is your favorite porn? My favorite porn? Um, well, I, I don't like scripted porn. I like only amateur porn. So I watch a lot of like 18 year old swings like busting giant loads on their emaciated stomach. Um, Pittsburgh. Why? Pittsburgh, Transylvania. Why do you live in Pittsburgh? It's, it's, it's my home, you know? Um, you know, it's the city of champions, as we're known. And um, it's it's the birthplace of Andy Warhol. It's the birthplace of Christina Aguilera. And it's the birthplace of Christina Sharon... Aguilera? I don't know how to say it. Did I say it right? Yeah, but I think I got what you said. Right? Yeah. <laughs> See, the great thing about a laughing track is when Larry promises you that he'll fly you over the pond to do a track, then he can just do it in like three minutes and we can call it less so easy. It's so easy. Like you. Actually, surprising. you're surprisingly easy together. You know, even when I talked to your mother, she said that you were just a nightmare. Now, I know you get crazy fans. Have you ever had to get, like, rude and say, bitch, do not pull my motherfucking hair? Well, it's going to sound mean, but it happens um, all the time. Um... There's, there's something about Sharon Needles that um, that people have become enamored with, you know, and it, it's hard to remind them. I know them. I am. It's hard to it's hard to remind them that it's not real. It's it's a facade. It's it's, it's transgressive punk rock um, pop art at its best. But when kids see it, they, they 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 forget that there's a human being under there who's actually completely covered in duct tape, corsets, foam padding. We love you, Sharon Needles. Well, thank you, Larry Jean. I have to say, to those of you who are, who are watching out there, this has been one of my idols since I was a very, very, very um, um, a young little queen. And what he has done for um, not just underground scene and for like the electronic scene, but for the drag scene, I would not be standing here today in these seven inch high heels if it was not for you, Larry T. Thank you. Thank you for making Mother RuPaul. Thank you. No problem. Hail Satan. One more laugh.